Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to... Hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade. Here we are, just to prove it's me. Well, my character. Um, the last time there was a bit of flickering with the, um, the blue bar and the red bar, and I can't point to them. Stupid curses. Um, that was due to OBS and the fact that my computer is not as good as, I, as, as it as it has been. Well, it's five, six years old, so it's coming to the end of its cycle. I'm buying a new one, so there might be a few glitches as I move save files around and problems with uploading and so on and so on. So on. Right, so we were here outside Gimbal's prosthetics. Um, uh, a bounty for the hunter, so we were hunting for the bounty hunter. Which we may have something, which we may believe, which we believe has something to do with someone down here. I'm feeling a little paranoid, so I'm going to check my shotguns. Ready? Right. So on we go. Yeah, um. Hello. I, I spoke with you on the phone a little while ago. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. Thank you. I am a little worried. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Uh, yes, um, yes I am. Who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh. Uh, Dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Oh, tell me a little about yourself, then, Stan. Me? Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves um, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, <laughs> you might say. A leg up. <laughs> uh, bloody clever, that one. Does he? Okay, what a laugh. Uh, <laughs> Now that Mr. McGee. Mm hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. Hmm, slight problem with the uh, subtitle. But you say he didn't show up. No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. Oh, I didn't know I could call him. So, okay, so that was the problem. So before... Right. I see, does, does the name Carson ring a bell? Carson? No. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look. I know I got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Yes, that sounds great. I'd appreciate it. Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Thanks. So oh, I'll wait here. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. I'm so sorry, what? I seem to be stuck. Newspaper. Beach Eye Dick. Boom. Mysterious explosion destroys Santa Monica Warehouse. That's not quick save. That's quick save. Stupid games all having different keys. Am I meant to follow him? Mannequins, okay. A little creepy. We're in a combat zone, so... There we go. I know this is a tad metagamey. What with the whole... Using the whole, um, pack to combat area. Let's see if there's something in here. Mm, 
there's no way of getting in there. But it looks things. It looks like. Well, we'll take the blood pack. That's useful. It might be more useful than we fear. I mean, I think. All right. Well. That looks familiar. Can we read this book? Nope. A load of saws and various other tools. Does not fill me with confidence. He says paranoidly quick serving even though nothing's actually happened since he last quick served. Oh my goodness. Will she? Under there, Dad. Ugh. Double doors. Absolutely terrified at that. Huh? Oh, hey! Help! You gotta get me out of here, man! This guy's a freaking nut job! Who? Do you mean Gimbal? Who? Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, now how do I open this door? Um, can I have my shotgun out? Can I have my shotgun out, I did say. Thank you. Alright. To remember, I need to actually reload this. Come on, reload. Speed up. Actually, I could probably switch to. Punch him out. There we go. No point using the ammunition when you don't need to, I suppose. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. I'm sure. I'm guessing you're Carson. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Uh, Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. Oh, he's got some work for you, I'm sure. Head back to the office. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. <laughs> Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. Ugh. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Mm, I'll understand. I'll, I'll pass on the bad news. See you. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Yeah, better come back with the police, I think. I don't think I want that. Oh my goodness, it's a melee weapon. Is he mental? It's the same as a knife. Let's not keep it. I'm guessing that's what's left of McGee. 